Let me show you how I installed Eclipse so that it would work with Maven. So the first thing I had to do was just find Eclipse. Pick a browser. Maybe enter into the browser something like uh, download Eclipse. If I wanted to be more specific, I could even say all of this stuff. Eclipse Luna for Windows 7 32-bit, because I'm running on Windows 7. Let's just say download Eclipse. I get the Eclipse downloads. Um, I think standard Eclipse is, is just fine. And we want Windows 32-bit or Windows 64-bit if that's your case. There are some other things more advanced. As you can see, I think I'm going to skip all of those, even if they would work. Um, I think that what the standard one should be just fine. So I'm not going to actually click on download. It takes a long time. What I'm going to do is show you what it downloaded, which is this. It's a zipped thing. And inside of the zip thing is one folder, which says Eclipse. And that really want, that's all you need is that one um, folder the Eclipse folder. So I unpacked it and I'll show you, I'll open it and Eclipse is missing because I dragged it somewhere. And I'll show you where I put it. So I went to computer, my only drive here is C, and I dragged uh, Eclipse inside of, I believe, program files. As you can see it's there it's colored even green, a different color on the screen. I had to get permission to drag it here. So the computer asked me, are you sure you want to do this? And I said, yes, there was no other Eclipse, so I, I put it there. Now that puts Eclipse in a known place on the main computer. And I did it in such a way that I really didn't care to run Eclipse as a normal option, you don't see it listed as a new command anywhere. And that's okay because I'm going to use Eclipse just under Sigwin. So to launch Eclipse, we just uh, open up a Sigwin terminal. And if I wanted to see Eclipse now, where it is, uh, it's actually on this Sig Drive Volume C underneath the Program Files And there you see it, the Eclipse. It's the third from the top here. Okay, so that's how one would access Eclipse. And I could actually type out all of that and then look at, we can actually look inside, I'll show you um, just for reference sake. So drive C, program files, Eclipse. And you can see that it has a number of things in there, including an Eclipse.exe, um, which is the actual running program for Windows. It has many other things such as plugins and drop-ins. So let me just start it. But in order for me to start it, I don't want to have to type out this long path and say slash Eclipse.exe. What I did was I put it inside of my path. And so I had to uh, adjust the uh, paths by saying something extra in my file uh, about paths. So I've made a file you remember from previous videos called sourceme.sh and here it is and we can display it in a different way by calling up notepad And there it is, and we have to scroll out. This is, it comes a long line now to see the Eclipse part. It's just on the end. So I actually have to scroll way over here to see it. But now you can see that it has added to the path, SIG drive C program files Eclipse slash. And then I add an extra colon and a, and a period. That's so that I can do any sort of local commands I want to in addition. Anyway, that's the path and how I set it up.
Okay, now I need to activate that path. If I just look at the path I have right now, I have not yet done the thing to activate all of these. So uh, to do that, I simply, um, I say source, source me.sh. And now if I echo the dollar path again, we will see Eclipse. So right here you see Eclipse. So now it's including Eclipse. Now I can say Eclipse. And Eclipse is launching. Now Eclipse is missing one thing that I would really like to have. You should, you'll get a, a which workspace do you want to use. You can let it default permanently by clicking the box. I'll just say OK this time. The thing that's missing that's important is integration with Maven. So we want Eclipse to be aware of Maven so that we can open Maven projects. And in order to do that, we need something like a, an, a plug-in or drop-in for Maven. And after it opens up, I'll show you how at least I found the, the drop-in or plug-in. I don't know which it is at this point. So waiting, waiting. Let's see. We can see that it's loading lots of uh, plugins, is what it's doing right now. And it takes some time to, to do this. Usually the first time takes longer than, than subsequent times, but uh, that depends on your particular environment. I noticed that on the department they run a different level or version of Eclipse, something called Kepler. I don't believe there are going to be too many differences here. Taking a long time. I must have a slow disk. One of the things I might point out while I'm waiting is that it's possible to do things in uh, parallel, so to speak, that while that's going on, I would be free to open, say, another Sigwin terminal, and again, say, source, source me dot sh, and do other activities. So, for example, I could try the mvn command, which won't work because I don't have any project right now, but just to show you that... Um, you can you can do this if you have a multi-core machine that that's a sensible thing to do so anyway now eclipse has opened and it's taking up the whole screen as you can see and one of the things that i would want to do is to grab maven is go under help and underneath help there's an eclipse marketplace and that's how i locate software and what should come up is uh place where I can enter a search box and I'm going to enter Maven. And so it's going to search for things such as plugins and drop-ins for Maven and I can see quite a few things including Maven integration for Eclipse, Luna and Newer 1.5. That seems a reasonable thing. I think the one that I chose was something called M2E and I think that's also what the department chose. And then there's a little box right down here that says install. And I think after install, it's going to take some time to do that and then ask me to quit Eclipse and restart it. And then I should have Maven uh, as, as an option here. And if I do have Maven as an option, I'll be able to go under File and Import. And there will be something which we don't see here. It will actually have another option for Maven. And that's how you'll know it's working. So clearly, I haven't done the... Uh, Maven install yet, and but you know how to do it now, and so I'll just exit out of here, and I'll come back in the future if we need to consider something about working with Eclipse and Maven, and I'll make another video for that. But that's it for now.